Hello, everybody. It's Steve. Welcome back to Surviving Mars Below and Beyond. And right as I hit stop record on that last video, I hit the 500 mi colonist milestone. I have a lot of folks who are, un who are homeless right now, so I may need to pivot and do some home construction. I've got the ability to build a medium domes in the underground, which I'm not too keen on. I do like the idea of maybe putting another mega dome down here, kind of tucking it in this corner. So let's go ahead and do that. It's going to be a happy little mega dome. Go ahead and put it uh, right about now. And I actually want to put it off of this dust one over here. Dust storms? Get out of here with that. When did dust storms end? 50% atmosphere. Ha 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 ha. So keep an eye on this. The 48.67. 48.7 now. This may disappear once it hits that point. Research complete. Water conservation systems. Water consumption of the domes is now reduced by another 50%. That's kind of cool. I'm just going to go straight out to here with that. Build a cable over here. Just kind of, I'm not going to be able to do that right away. Got most of my materials going over there. I'm spending a lot of materials because I'm also working on getting the Omega Telescope back up and running. Finally, after how long ago did I destroy that thing on accident? Whoops. Okay, we have a lot of folks who are listed as unemployed. Let's go ahead and turn my TV studio workshop on. That's going to get a lot of folks working. It will consume electronics, and I can also open up second shifts on these factories that are producing electronics in dome. I could do home collective, but that's just going to make more people have kids. So I'm hesitant to do that. Uh, let's see. I don't think I ever upgraded these. I usually like religious, composed, enthusiast. Yeah, enthusiast. Technology, working on adapted vegetation, which will allow me to start planting bushes and trees, and they'll start producing more seeds. Farm automation, creative realities, just to really, this is check boxes right now. Um, decorations of service comfort, terraforming amplification. ALT I don't need because I've got capture asteroid. Um, Seldom B012 is going to head out of range, but I'm going to stay on, oh, had another Mars quake downstairs. Gonna have to jump down there real quick. Boo! Oh no, oh! You came down on top of this. But hey, look! It worked. It held. Ha 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 ha! Suckers. Alright, I'm gonna increase my service error in this guy. Maybe double dusting it will, uh... Keep it from working? Uh, keep it from failing. So, we're good on that front. Dust Let's head back upstairs. 49.2? And we are actually getting more of atmospheric loss. So let's go ahead. Let's get another mag field generator built up. I mentioned I was going to kind of put it in this area, which could damage the space elevator if there's a localized Mars quake, so I may actually avoid building out in that area. Down here, though, where all this power is that I'm eventually going to move away from the domes, eh, this seems like a good place to slap one down. The I guess short term long term plan. Still long term is to get all right, I'm setting all those rare metals up there for a reason. Um let's go ahead and send you on projects. Oh, this guy's actually perfect for it, because all the fuel's being produced. There's a bunch of fuel down here that I can utilize. Actually worked out quite uh, fortuitously for me. Another hub in this area. Oh, I need more pre- I need more drones. Didn't realize I just, uh, I've been spending drones without building more prefabs. Let's go ahead and crank out a bunch more drones! There we go. 100 drone prefabs. I like it. New dome coming online right now. And the mega telescope is just waiting on concrete at this point. Is concrete being delivered? Yeah. So it looks like what's happening is we got to get the concrete from over here to over here. 
And realistically, this would be like a hundred desired amount. There's a lot of drones doing a lot of work out here. Um, this is probably not the most efficient layout of my drone hubs, just because I now with the drone hub extenders, I've got extra real estate to work with. This dome was talking about unemployment problems, so let's employ them in a TV studio workshop. 16 concrete, 10 electronics, we'll make it work. Wow, we have no needed specializations for so many things. Blue sky, no more recurring dust storms, boom, it disappeared. Love it. We also have blue skies. Uh, looks like this next set of the gamma site is done. Probably just going to keep digging down this way. Wow, that is a big ass toxic pool. Actually, do I need to build any more down here? Oh, yeah, look at that. That is awesome. I think. The Gamma site's going to get built this episode. We're going to put down an... An. We're going to put down a large uni depot. We're also going to put a train station down here. So we need, let's see... Seven... So eight... Four, 12, 20 metals. Oh, bright... Right, right. All right, we let's come down here. Shortage. No, we don't. Why are you there? Get out of that dome. I'm sorry. Our colonists are suffocating. We... Why are you in a dome with no, with nothing in it? You're in an empty space. It hasn't been built up yet. What, and I can't emphasize this enough, the fuck are you doing? All right. Looks like I'm in a detour for this shit. This will take a little time to get up and running. I also have no... I thought I was going to be done with this, but I also realized as soon as I finished placing down the casino complex, I didn't place any stuff down to get food. Do a small grocer here. There we go. This will take time to fill up, but it's not going to take long to fill up, I think. Right. Need a burrito. And there we go. Here's our mega telescope. Did not get the um, hoped for extra bonus or extra breakthroughs. There we go. Put those two over there. Waiting for seeds, waiting for seeds, and storage space is full. I've got worse things to complain about with that stuff. Resources are low. Um, electronics, wow, okay. Why do we not have electronics down here? Oh! Interesting. It looks like we're not building, not uh, producing enough, and I think it has something to do with the with what happened down here previously. Now I have actually repaired this. I'm able to repair both of these guys. They're just not functioning. Um, when the cave collapsed at some point last two weeks, it actually stopped operating correctly. And now I've got to do this little back and forth of moving the rare metals back and forth. So I essentially have to slowly just move them all around. Oh no. I don't think I can actually get the 700 out. This is a significant problem. 700 rares I cannot get my... Or, yeah, 700 rares I can't get my hands on. 
Oh boy. Both these structures are malfunctioned, but I can't... Okay, can you repair this guy? Wait. You're seeing that. It's a little pixel size problem. I can see it there. It says clear rubble. Huh. Alright. I'm going to demo these guys and rebuild them. This I'm just going to demo because it's not doing me anything. Alright. I'm going to rebuild them both. I really think it's the only way to properly fix it at this point. If they can even reach this guy. I guess I'll just rebuild and move them elsewhere. This is incredibly weird. I do also see there's another, uh... Actually, wait, stop. Cancel that. These two are in range of each other. We're fine. But, like, these two guys, they're fully loaded. But I can't get... But I can't repair them. If anyone's had any experience with this, go ahead and let me know in the comments section, because I'd love to get some insight on why this is not working for me anymore. All right, and it's telling me to build some domes. Let's go ahead, I guess, build some domes. I've got actually enough materials to do it. Not enough for concrete, though. I guess it's telling me to build it down here? That's a little priority for me. It is. I'm not going to devote a bunch of resources to that. Okay, 47 is our deficit. Didn't mean to check on this at, on Ahab. But we're producing a bunch of stuff up here. If I amplify them, it's going to do plus 10 production. And once we get into the daytime hours, these guys are producing 10 apiece. Okay, yeah, we need actually more solar panels. Or improve photovoltaics on all these guys. Research complete. There we go. We're going to need some more solar panels built up, and that way we can amplify these guys, get some more materials pulled out. Look at that, 305 exotics, ready to come back to Mars. And a big stifling yawn from me. Sorry about that. Okay. Let's go ahead and request some cargo. Yeah. Let's request 187. That seems to be the maximum I'm able to carry. Um, so, well, might as well just make the most of it. All right, this guy is now you know, going up at a rate of 50. Do I have five polymers? Yes, I do. Let's go ahead and get this guy up and running, too. I want to make sure that I've got plenty of power during the overnight hours, especially when I decide to amplify these guys. Okay, that has been built. Perfect. Got five machine parts, so I'm going to need to bring some back up. Yeah, and he's going to automatically take off once we get there. Um, ice asteroids are done. That's always good. Yeah, toxic rain's going for about four hours. Atmospheric loss is progressing. Seeing fuel being stolen does concern me, considering what happened last week. Ooh, cloud seeding. All right, MacGyver's going to come down here. Vicky's going to come down here. And we're not at a spot yet where I can do wheat. I need 10 more. Uh, ten, eh, 10 more water. Research and we complete. should be good. So we're going to go back down to this dome. And I'm realizing this as I'm going through this. I've really stopped caring about the colonists. I really just want to... 
I just want to make this map awesome. I really just want to build this out and kind of craft it, and that looks creepy as hell. Um, okay. All right, so let's do this. Let's just do a let's just do a baseline uni depot right here. You guys go clear that out. My unemployed dome. Um, so is it kids that are homeless here, or a lot of youths here? There shouldn't be any children born in this one, by the way. So, I guess I'll put a smart apartment down for the youths. That'll actually perfectly take care of their needs. Up here, we have a lot of folks who are unemployed. So, oh wait, no, 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 Batman. We'll go ahead and put that there. We've got... Wow! How many money is I running with? 64. Okay. I can work with that. This guy was going to go shopping for me. There we go. I don't think I have the right balance of what I'm going to need for my project, but this guy's going to go over to the Gamma site and start working that up. In fact, I'm pretty sure I did not get the correct... Uh... No, I might have actually gotten that perfectly right. Booyah! Um, there's also no power production over here. So that's going to be a problem until I get this built. Uh, hmm. Oh, space elevator. Let's actually order up a couple of, order a prefab here. Yep, just gonna request that. So I can now have these uh, buildings powered up by the time everything gets here. We have a delivery on the space elevator. I'm realizing I also put those two in the wrong spot. Let's go ahead and reset my large university deep on this side. Put the train station on this side here. And then I'm going to put my two sterling gens, beep boop, right next to it. This will actually power itself pretty well, and I can build a couple of scrubbers here once I start getting materials on board. What did I do that for? That was easy. Oh, yeah. Go ahead and clean that toxic pool up, please. All right. Now, the fun part. Let's build some train tracks. Choo-choo. The actual challenge with this is going to be to see if I can run this track around what I already have. I may not be able to. complete. This way. Interesting, I'm just trying to put it right on top of that. Ha 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 ha. So you have to do it just right to get around it. Yeah. Let's go down this way. Now we can run along this path that I built, god, what, week one, week two of this playthrough? Out to here. Here. And the reason it's just zigzagging like this, unfortunately, is just because I did not build it well. Almost there. <laughs> Alright, let's go straight this way. Let's 
going to that. There we go. It's going to need 730 materials. It's going to need 730 concrete. I'm running at 4,100. This is how long this mega track is. And I'm probably going to have to clean that up. Because I... Uh, wow. Okay. No, hang on. Cut. I am not happy with how that looks. What I need to do... Is I need to flatten this area out. I need to give myself a little more real estate to play with down in here. Maybe bring the track all the way to the edge and then run it along that way. Now, I'm gonna. I need to do some work with this, so I will keep working on that here. And you'll see what we got Resources going on upstairs. Yes, we are at zero machine parts. So let's actually use multiple rockets. Go ahead and take off the polymers, because we're probably not going to need those. Definitely going to need fuel to get back. Not going to need any metals, because we're producing that stuff locally, as well as concrete. We're going to request that for Vicky. Columbo needs... Yeah, whoa, ho, 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 okay, we need, okay, Columbo, I think he's ready to go, actually, I think he was meant to go to heat rain a while ago, all right, toxic rains are gone, and we're going for another capture ice asteroid project, let's go back downstairs, because I think we did have another Mars quake, yeah, we did, ha, Suck it. Okay. Shut this building down, damn it. I think the drones are still, like, trying to bring stuff over to this. And they cannot... They can't demo it. Because it's glitched out. That's a pain in the ass. Oh, well. Up to Heater Ant. Yep. Perfect. We should have enough materials down here. Yep. Electronics. We should put little polymers. Yep. This is this one was meant to come up to uh, this asteroid the entire time. This guy's only going to be collecting. this stuff. Unfortunately, everything up here is malfunctioned, so the patient. Oh, wow, we actually have the patient coming in now. This one is just going to be... This one just... Uh, oof. I remember this one from a previous playthrough. Essentially, you're just going to need to be spending, just sinking tons of money into them, but he's going to raise morale of all the colonists. I'm going to hook these two guys up as well. This drone hub does have the capacity to reach him. And the drones that are assigned to him, these guy, will split them up amongst the two. And we do have a deficit of power. That's totally fine. Go back down to the colony while that's working. Got most stuff going here, and we should work an auto on that and research. Need to work behavioral melding next, and let's go ahead. And just do these breakthroughs. Just they're available to us. We might as well utilize them. Uh, Hawking Institutes, if not done already, we're gonna go ahead. We're gonna amplify them. We're gonna open up all shifts on the Hawking Institutes. And um, oh yeah, also we're gonna change the skin on it, make it look uh, like a brain or something. Oh wow, look at that! Boom, eleven hundred research per soul. There's a collab loss, which is fine. I may need to actually start doing the the tracks. I may need to do that off camera, just because I think it's gonna be a lot for me to do. Right, we're doing something with him. All right, Ahab is ready to go. Edit payload, no drones. 
Let's go. I may get rid of Airwolf. I don't know what I'm doing with him. Actually, yeah, Airwolf was the recovery rocket. Now that I know what I'm doing and I've got, you know, brain cells I can rub together, I can go ahead and utilize that. Alright. Do need to start building more up here. Downstairs, I... This stuff's glitched out. I can't do anything with it, so I've lost a ton of rare metals in the process. There we go. Got our machine parts coming in that's going to keep these guys operational, and I've got polymers for it, so let's go ahead and use them. I'm going to start amplifying out here. Resources are low. Should have brought some electronics up too. It did not. That was a mistake on my part. I'll take what I can get. Let's go back over to here. Seed vegetation's available. Not gonna touch that until I actually am maxed out on my seed vegetation projects. I'm now collecting a lot more seeds, and this is starting to this is gonna be filling up sooner rather than later. Alright. Atmosphere's at 56%, so we actually may be able to do some... If... It's done by the end of the week, we might, keyword, be able to... Uh, open up the domes, which should be fascinating, because I wasn't expecting to have that opportunity for a while, at least. Yep. We're gonna use we're gonna collect some waste rock up. Oh, got another Mars Quake. What got damaged? Eh, not too bad. Actually. Put you guys right in there. We're gonna level this out. We're gonna widen that out a little bit further. Because this is kind of the big project, is just to get this all leveled out. Um I do like the idea of getting rid of some of these sensor towers, because some of these sensor towers are a bit superfluous at this point. I don't need to do any scanning with it. Now, let's actually take a look. Nope, wrong one. Ah, here we go. This is the vegetation planet-wide. There's not a lot. This is actually where the best vegetation is. It's right tree. around this. Show me. Hmm. Interesting. Huh. There's no food down at this site. That's odd. Not there we can do wheat. We'll actually take one more capture ice asteroids project. I guess we are ripping through our food pretty quick. And that's actually completely useless too. Um, yeah, just doing quinoa at these locations. Yes, I may have uh, created a slight problem for myself. Could also put a farm down here, an open farm. Or right over here. Research complete. Hmm. Yep. I need to get some food down here. So, set up a trade. Let's do concrete for food. Because I've got the ability to do that. And we're going to need to get that. Wow, we really just ramped up our fuel supply super quick. Europe's going to give me an offer. I'll take it. MacGyver 3 is coming back down here. Patient, do not interrupt me as I'm doing this. It's essentially just like we're gonna dump. I think we're gonna dump like half a billion into the into the patient, and it's gonna pay off. Uh, the patient's not gonna survive. Um, I've yet to see the patient survive in this game, but their inspiration for the colonists is actually gonna have a good effect on us. I'm gonna build a second open farm. 
Right there actually is perfect. We're gonna build that right there, and then we're gonna start, um, as soon as I'm able to start producing crops out of there, I will, and that's gonna start feeding the colony. Just need to do this at one time, and we should be, keyword, in a good spot. This is getting flattened out, that's good. We need actually quite a bit of waste rock, and there's plenty around for us to utilize. Over here, we need to clear out some, okay. I'm gonna put you guys all the way over here because this section needs to be cleared as well. Fascinating. It seems like the food's just not being delivered to where it needs to be. And granted, I'm low on food. I've got 600 colonists and 514 food. Martian diet was researched fairly early. All colonists consume 25% less food. But it's not helping me much if I'm not producing enough food locally for myself. Go ahead. Let's see, 0.6 to boost 7, 0.2 to boost food. I'll do leaf crops here. Maybe I'll utilize something with that. And a renegade to stole several food that we need to keep the colony going. All right. I'm um, over the 30 minute mark, hopefully, with all my little edits and whatnot. Between videos, I'm going to try to lay down some track, uh, figure out exactly where I want it to go, hopefully also resolve this uh, starvation problem, because it is a bit of a problem. All right, we got herbs, cover crops, leaf crops. We're going to grow all that up there. Rush is going to give us a trade. That's good. And then hopefully we'll get some colonists fed. A bit important. And... Uh, Keep on the flattening project. There's a lot that still need. I still think needs to be done in this game. I also know that we're on episode 30 right now, and I want to probably maybe do one more week of this. Go into the first, you know, end of June, first part of July, and then go into another series or another gameplay. I've been looking at some games. I know the Steam Summer Sale is starting up this week. I don't know what I'm going to be doing with it, but I know it's going to be fun. Like, comment, share, and subscribe if you enjoyed this video and all the videos that come out on this channel. Thank you all for watching. I'll see you on the next video.